you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to make a simple video on how to cut your tube bustier dress so we are going to be achieving our tube dress and of course our tube dress is going to have bustier. Now what are the basic measurements required? Our shoulder measurements, bust, waist, hip and our gown length. Note that our gown length is simply from the shoulder to your knee length. That is where we want our tube dress to get up to. So we have our shoulder which is 16. Divided by 2, we have 8. Our bust is 44 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 12.5. Our waist is 36. 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 11.5. Now, the reason why we have plus 1 and plus 2 on the waist is because basically on our waistline we are going to have our darts that is why we went ahead to add plus 2 which is going to serve as our darts our hip is 46 46 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 13 our gown length is 36 36 plus 1 inch for our sewing allowance we have 37 inches now of course for our tube our tube doesn't start from the shoulder it starts around the upper bust note that you have to determine how many inches you want how many inches you want to take off from your basic from your shoulder but this measurement where we have 37 starts from the shoulder measurement right so if you want your tube to start around your bust area, go ahead and deduct about 6 inches, 5 inches, 8 inches. It all depends on how full you want it to be. So I'm going to explain that better when we start drafting the pattern. Don't forget to join us on Facebook, 3 Designs. Also visit our Instagram and our website where we have beautiful and amazing illustration. I'm going to put down the details in the description box below. And you can also join us for training. Both online training and physical training are available. So the first thing we are going to do first is we are going to go ahead and draft our pattern. And on that note, with me here, I have pattern paper. Now, this pattern paper is available at our store. And one thing I love about this pattern paper is it's about 60 inches long and it comes in a bundle. And I also have my white pattern paper also. So both the white pattern paper and the brown pattern paper are available at our store. So if you want to get yours, I'm going to go ahead and put down the details in the description box so that you can order for yours. If you find this video very educative, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to treat in the comment section. So let's move straight into the pattern. Paper. The first thing we have to do now is to go ahead and take our basic measurement, which is shoulder to bust 10.5. Shoulder to bust 10.5, shoulder to arm O 10, shoulder to under bust 14. Now shoulder to waist 18 and half, waist to upper hip 6 inches, waist to lower hip 8 inches, waist to the knee length we have 18 inches. So we go ahead and measure our gown length, which is 35, 37 inches. So this is the line. The next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and connect the lines together. The thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart measurement, which is four and half. So we mark our dart, which is four and half. We go ahead and mark our dart. Once we are done with that, we connect the lines together. On our waistline, we we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. 
we'll go ahead and connect it together now you will discover that our dust stops at our upper hip now the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and extend this that line the third that line to our shoulder on the shoulder line go ahead and mark 5.5 mark 5.5 connect this 5.5 to the bust line so this is what you are going to have on your under bust line go ahead and mark half inch on both sides this is what we have we go ahead and connect it together so to connect the underboss to the waist, I'll be making use of this pattern master and pattern masters are available at our store. So this is what we have, we have. So the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and close your shoulder dart. your shoulder dart this way automatically your bust area is going to come up and the reason why it's going to pop up is because what we want to achieve is a bustier effect so once we close our shoulder dart you can see how this part automatically pops up so close your shoulder dart and take your shoulder measurement our shoulder measurement is 8 inches We'll go ahead and take our shoulder measurement which is eight inches now we take our bust measurement which is 12.5 we'll take our waist measurement which is 11.5 we'll go ahead and take our hip measurement on the lower hip which is 13 now because what we want to achieve is a soup dress go ahead and deduct one and a half or two inches and mark that on your gown length so we have 13 and a half i'm going to go ahead and deduct one and a half and mark 12 inches so i'll go ahead and connect my skirt length where i have 12 inches to my hip line i'll connect my hip to my waist this way and connect my bust to my waistline so this is what we are going to have you can see the shape already now because what we want to achieve is a tube dress like i said earlier you are going to go ahead and determine how many inches you want to take off how many inches you want to take off so for me i want to take about six inches off i will go ahead and mark six inches so this is where i have six inches right i will go ahead and make it a straight line now because what we want to achieve is also a sweet that effect at this part which is our center line i will go ahead and curve it in a little so that we can have this sweet tart effect to serve for our sweet tart now because it's a tube effect connect your bust line to your new shoulder line connect your bust line to your new shoulder line i'm going to go ahead and do that this way so this is what we are going to have you can see here is a straight line we have our curve this way and this you will discover that we, we didn't bring out our arm o because what we want to achieve is a is a tube dress and for tube dress you don't need that curve of your arm o and of course we still achieve our bustier effects so i'll go ahead and cut this out to have this is what you are going to have now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut out 
is to go ahead and cut out our bustier effect so i'm going to go ahead and open up my waistline now the reason why i'm opening up my waistline is because we are going to part this upper part right so we go ahead and open it up so that we can have two pieces for the front block so this is the lower part and this is the upper part where we are going to have our bustier effect that is why we took all these dots at this upper part so we go ahead and cut this out so after cutting it out this is what we are going to have you can see the bustier effect i'm going to show you guys how to part this also so this is what we have for the upper part and for the lower part we have one single piece so we go ahead and set this aside this our back block see making use of the same line we we'll go ahead and mark our zip allowance which is two inches we we'll go ahead and mark two inches for our zip allowance once we are done with that we connect it all the way that we go ahead and mark our dart line which is four and a half inches we mark our dart line we go ahead and connect the lines together on our waistline we mark half inch on both sides now because our back block we're only going to have your basic dots so once you are done with that you take note of the inches you took for the front block right so we took six inches for our tube we we'll go ahead and mark six inches we make that a straight line now on our bust line we we'll go ahead and mark our bust measurement which is 12.5 our waist measurement which is 11.5 and our hip measurement which is 13 now for our gown length in the front block we mark block we mark 12 inches that is we took away 1.5 we're also going to do the same for the back block so we go ahead and connect it together trainings are available both online training and offline training so we go ahead and connect this together so for the upper part because what we want to achieve is also a two effect we'll go ahead and connect it this way so that we can have our tube effect so for the back block now i will go ahead and cut this out so for the back block we are going to go ahead to have one single piece and i'm not going to open it up because we don't have bustier effect at the back block so this is what our back block basically looks like so with me here i have this african print and african prints are available at our store now one thing i want to do now is i'm going to go ahead and fold this into two folding it into two i will go ahead and place my back block so once i place my back block this way I will go ahead and cut this out so after cutting it out this is what we are going to have we have two pieces for the back you guys this print is actually so beautiful and it's available guys so I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and after cutting it out we are going to have two pieces for the back block and let me show you guys how beautiful this african print is and african prints are available right so i'm going to go ahead and set this as where we have the side we'll go ahead and fold our fabric into two place our side block this way and then we'll go ahead and cut this out for the lower side of the front block i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two now i'll place the center edge at this folded edge so that we are going to have one single piece so this is what we have i will go ahead and cut this i'm going to have one single piece so this is what we have you can see that we followed the pattern to make sure that this falls in the middle so we go ahead and see. so for the center front you 
are going to make sure that this center front stays at this folded edge and of course you are going to fold our fabric into two place your center front at this folded edge and then I'll go ahead and cut it out this is what we are going to have so you can see that we followed the pattern even for the lower block and the upper block so we'll go ahead and set out my lining what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place my lining on the front block go ahead and stitch the side except the lower side where I'm going to use to turn it out back block and I also have my lining for the back block I will go ahead and stitch it all the way and show you guys what so guys after turning it with our lining this is what we have for the back block so you can see we followed the pattern and this is what we have now for the lower part of our front block we've also gone ahead to turn it with our lining and this is what we have so for the front block where we have our bustier this is what we have we've gone ahead to cut out our wording and i'm using the soft wording and this wording has a shining part and a smooth part i will go ahead and fix it this way so i have four pieces for it so we'll go ahead and fix it make sure that the shiny part sticks to the fabric and then you give it a very nice press once you're done with that we'll go ahead and stitch this part together stitch this part together and also for so for our lining also we'll go ahead and stitch this part together and also stitch this part together for the lining so once we are done with that we'll use the lining to turn the fabric and i'll show you guys the upper bodies this is what we have we've gone ahead to turn our bustier and this is what it looks like now for the lower part this is what we have so we'll go ahead and stitch this part together so that we can have one single piece for the back block this is what we have for the back block I'm going to go ahead and fix in my zip so that I can have one complete piece for the front block now we have a single piece and for the back block we have a single piece so we are going to go ahead and use the measurement to couple this up and just go ahead use the measurement to couple this up and our tube dress is ready so i'm going to show you guys what our tube dress looks like once we go ahead 